Gerald Selby of England to serve. Ali Farag of Egypt. Ali to Farag. Uh, Best of five games. Bravo. Tight choice of shorts for the <laughs> uh, slender Egyptian. Have to see you try and get those on. Well, not chance and uh, get them on one leg. There's uh, well time. She's up later against Lisa Aitken of Scotland. Late shift at 9 p.m. Eight matches for the women tomorrow, PJ. It's a lot of squash. It's going to be a lot of work for Lee Drew, Vanessa Atkinson. We've got the the two men's matches. So even that will be extensive. Well, they'll be humding as the men's matches. Yeah, they'll uh, the quarterfinals. They're going to be. Uh, well, that's when, for me, the tournament really does start to open up. Oh, this is really loose from Ali Farag. Well, the uh, men's quarters tomorrow. Oh. Slightly. Down. It's a really weird rally that yeah, was. That was quite a rally. I don't think either one, one can, can believe the quality of that one. If I stare at Daryl Selby's T-shirt for too long, it makes my eyes go funny. <laughs> So they've got a luminescence about it. So Ali, uh, sorry, Mohammed El Shabagi playing Diego Elias tomorrow. Wicked. Rematch of Kaka. Wicked. And then Karim Khabdel Gawad will play the German tree chopper. So it's pretty tasty, isn't it? Very, very tasty. Drew and Vanessa Atkinson have eight women's matches tomorrow. I'm a bit confused then. So tomorrow is still the, it's the last 16 of the women. Round three of the women. I just, the women's tournament obviously started later and they're now catching up the men. Very steady. Opening. It's good counter work from Selby. And out three one. Daryl Selby is wearing the heart rate monitor for this match this evening. Be a good indication of just how he's two, faring physically. Send a big shout out to Terry. Just uh, received a message from him actually and a video on Twitter wishing uh, you and I a good evening, Joey. He's actually indoors with the dog yeah, the in front of the fire oh. watching his main man, Bobby Dazzler. That's a fantastic video. I just want to know. I, I, I can't hear when you say next to the door. 
Yeah, no, it was checked. I've just been told everything was good. Yes. Yeah, they're looking now. See this again as it comes in. Pickup's good from Bobby Dazzler. And that's double from Farag. Yeah, Pickup's good from Selby. So Daz certainly dazzling with his. Uh, it's kind of slightly council, isn't it? It's like the, on the roads again. High vis. Um, yeah, it looks fantastic. He's got the wood burner going there, Terry. And uh, I'm just trying to work. I can't quite see what breed of dog it is, me being obviously a, a big Five, dog man. Three. But it uh, looks perfect. It's getting Arctic here tonight, apparently, Terry. Bad weather's coming in. A question for you, Joey, actually. Another question from Twitter. It's actually Scott Davis. Scott. Uh, Evening, Scott. He's been playing, yes, paying man. very close attention to the temperature reports. He said yesterday the court temp was at about 25.6. Today it's 24. No, it wasn't. What? Yesterday, yesterday it was 26.3. So if he's going to write in, at least get his uh, stats right. Scott. Be nasty. He's, he's Apologise for that, Scott. Does uh, Joey does get a bit hot tempered sometimes? Uh, he would like to know what heating is used for the pop-up court and what would be the best temperature for the court. Very good question. Um, depending on the scenarios of where it is, there's no actual heating that comes with the court here. They kind of work off the building heating. Also, at Canary Wharf is the same. They work off the building heating. There's actually underfloor heating in uh, the Swinton Garden, which and makes it quite quite six, toasty. Four. Perfect temperature. That's a big debate, really, there, Scott, because uh, depending on the player preference, um, I would probably say like a a 23 degree ambient temperature within the court is is pretty pretty favourable. The ironic thing is, Scott, is that when you're playing in countries that uh, outside are so outrageously hot, like Qatar, the actual air conditioning is so over the top, it's freezing. So when you're working and watching there, you have to wear a full-on tracksuit hoodie. Some players even wear scarves. It's, it's bizarre, isn't yeah, it? It was one of the days where they didn't have air conditioning. Oh, that was uh, certainly made up for it. Pretty tough going. So, good question. Please, you're following the temperature reports. It's a very exciting new tool that PJ's been allowed to use. It's looking good out here, Daryl. He's enjoying this tempo. It's giving him a, a range to work with it. Nice play, it's good play. So Selby pressing on in this first.
tight. Yeah, yeah he's uh, nine five. Come for a bit of an ambitious boast off a tight ball here. Good work. Oof. And out six Tidied up in the end by Ali Farag. A few fairly loose balls at times. But because they move so well, they just they pick up the attacks with such ease, but that was tight. Love the shot of the month, Bobby Dazzler. This could have been nasty. Quite a risky shot to play at such a crucial stage of the first game. about a contrast in games. I mean, the match that we saw before with Gregor Marsh and Tarek Moman, moments of brilliance, but also littered with kind of untidy errors, you could say, but this is a completely different game of squash.
Do love that movement from Ali Farag. It's almost like a little bit of a hop skip, like a long jumper. As he changes direction and goes from one corner to the other. Trouble. Yeah, it's got what he deserved, really. Bit of a feed there from Daryl Selby, teasing Ali Farag, but he's too experienced now, this uh, young Egyptian. Nine all. Slightly high on the drop, but good control of the racket face. Back to level Peggins at 9 all. Just creeping to the 180 beats per minute. Daryl Selby. He's got the width. It's the lucky bounce from Farag. Well, he's gone straight through here, Ali Farag. Didn't start to panic with that early lead from Selby. Starting to busy himself more so in front of Selby now. Just as I say that. And out, ten all. The, uh, a player must win by two up. points. Each player has one review available. Oh, slight switch of tactic here. Daryl Selby opting to serve onto the forehand side. from Daryl Selby. Such a strategic first game between these two. Farag and out 11 all saves one more opportunity feels so much warmer than earlier PJ but actually with your recordings it's actually not that far off is it no, it's pretty much the same down 12 11 game ball Farag's turn now to Serve with a game ball. Oh, he's got the lucky bounce as well. I don't know what it is with this back right-hand corner. Well, it's obviously, s there's a slight... Craig. Twenty minutes we've had now for this first game.
yes lad. Player review for Arg on the yes lad decision. Not sure why this is a let ball really. It's a tiny bit of interference. Gregoire Marsh, sorry, not Gregoire Marsh, but Matu Castanier made the same mistake in his first round. He stopped for a lot of these situations. Yes, lead decision upheld. Bragg has no reviews remaining. Trouble. This is hard work here for Selby. He's got it. That's that pounce you talked about, PJ. Third time this game. Hand out, 13-12. Game ball. Thirteen, twelve, game ball. Noor El Tayeb can barely sit still here watching her husband Ali Farag play. She's up and down like a yo yo. Movement from Selby. Well, that looks like a nearly a dead back will nick. It's got it. Uh, it's got it back. Oh, he made the error. Well, you can see Ali Farah brushes. Brushes head there. Norel Tyre, as PJ saying, looked very, very nervous. And out, 13 all. Daryl Selby not going away here. He's like the bogeyman with that top on. Very good first game, over 25 minutes. Sounds a bit extreme, that one, JB. Not quite a 25 minute mark, I don't think. Miles off. 20. What? Down. And out. Very close to 25 minutes easy. as Ali game Farag game. serves with game ball. Losing count now. How many opportunities he's had to close this out. Certainly going to test the physical resilience of Selby if Farag takes the first. Movement out of court, that's uh, tough there. So, great first game from Selby, unlucky for him. Made it very, very difficult for the Greyhound figure. Bang on 25 minutes, as I said. One game to love for Ali Farag. Well, not a bad start to this second men's match of the evening session. Ali Farag, the higher seed, number two in the world against the former world number nine, Daryl Selby. Such a contrast in styles, but both beautiful, efficient movers around the squash court, making some of these retrievals looking so easy, rest assured they're not. So many game ball exchanges, both players having their opportunities to take the first. But in the end, Ali Farag does just enough leads by one game to love.